Welcome everyone, this is Holy Cow. I've got here what will hopefully be the first of several videos that will showcase some of the events, builds, things that go on here in our wonderful server Crimson Ingot. So today I'll be showing you just a couple of builds and a couple of RP events to get this started. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, my friend Ariane Triple O One who plays Atmos online. I uh, used to be the leader of Iribus, a uh, pretty cool Zelfarian faction, but disappeared for a couple of months, so the faction fell to ruin, was looted, and is now actually being rebuilt by Thyfor. I should get some footage of that. Uh, this is, though, the library that he's building. Yeah, Atmos apparently received some, um, some um, a message through a dream telling him that he needed to erect a library in Temple Helm. So this is what he's busy on. This is this footage is about two weeks old, so hopefully it looks much better than this now, although from here it looks like it's going to be a great build. So looking forward to the end product, Atmos, looking for, or Ariane, looking forward to what you do. Always do good work. Look forward to seeing you online. Next up, notice a new build next to Plano Heath, which is related to the cultist attacks that uh, Temple Helm is going through right now. It's a defensive tower that I believe is supposed to serve the Glint Army or the Glint Forces, called Taris. I believe I got the pronunciation correct. It's a nice looking build, like usual. Admins do some great work on here. Got enough room for a small regiment, let's say, of forces from Glint. And the chests do contain armor and weaponry related to the Glint Forces. I had already opened the chest before starting the video, and when I went back they were empty. I tried them again, I believe it was 24 hours later, and they were still empty, so it looks like they're just a one-shot deal with the chest. Perhaps I'm wrong, you guys check it out yourselves, see what you can find. Next up, we'll be heading down this road southeast to a place called Ice Keep. All right. This location is just outside of Planu Heath, following the road out of Glint southeast. It's a faction called Ice Keep, which is actually no longer there. The faction itself was run by a player named Balorian, who unfortunately built this wall here in the middle of the road, to which Joseph3786's character, Verdict, took offense. Verdict is a, one of the cultist dogs, and fearing that this wall might prevent him from and his forces from approaching Glint, decided to attack it. So, coming to Valorian's uh, defense was a Thyvorian guard, Sack Power Pauk? I don't know how to pronounce your name, buddy. Uh, in game known as Endrain. I believe it's Endrain Luther. So, here's the ensuing battle. Enjoy! Like I said earlier, the faction is no longer there. This is what it looks like now. It is in ruins. There is signage asking to leave it alone. And Balorian has gone on to erect a new uh, village, a new settlement a bit further southeast on the road. Let's take a look at a build now. This is the Ironian Waterdeep Keep, built by Pig Valley 1234 Ironhold. Fantastic build. He gave me a tour of this and a couple of other builds. I think I'll have to make a separate video for the tour that he did give me because it's just fantastic, inspiring, great work, look at this entrance, look at this wall, incredible. The keep was built with several defensive and structural features including this one, holes through which boiling oil will be poured on, on attacking forces. There are also arrow slits down there for archers to protect the entrance, as well as being erected with a reinforced inner wall of obsidian in case of attack. Pig Valley says one of the important things to keep in mind when building is to detail 
Um, here you can see an example of the great detail that he puts into his work. This is his throne. Varnance is the character that he plays in the line. Looking good there, Pick. Down below we find the map room. Pick says it is incomplete. It is fairly accurate and a great idea and the gaps that you see, the hole that you see for the inner sea will eventually be filled with water. Up on the roof we find more examples of some details. Here we've got some natural lighting for the throne room below. And we've got an iron bell which provides warning to the town nearby in case of assault or any emergency. Pig says he builds to make the server look great, not for his own pleasure, although I'm sure he enjoys the work that he does. And Pig, I enjoyed your tour. Thank you very much. Great work, buddy. Lastly, some cold news. The assault is still being planned. The assault on the Clint outpost is still being planned, but a small skirmish took place yesterday between uh, King Alec and Verdict. Uh, Verdict was actually distracted. This was just a ruse to keep him away from one of the other assaults, or one of the main assaults by the Temple Helm defensive forces. Uh, led by Ceylon, played by Cielo Klima, a small group assaulted uh, the cult forces at Concourse. Originally, they relied on using their siege engines to attack the crystal structure, which you see there in the background. Eventually, however, the fighting did turn to hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I got a little bit of good footage, but one of the dangers of being the war correspondent and a newscaster is sometimes you get caught in the action. Eventually, Joseph, or Verdict, was alerted to the ruse by what I believe is a double or triple spy, which shall remain unnamed here. Joseph arrived at uh, Concourse, and a great battle ensued between him and Nidrand Nim. Let's watch. That does it for this video. If you guys on Crimson Ingot have anything going on, anything you built, any RP events coming up, anything you'd like me to feature, drop me a PM or uh, start a thread on the forums and I'll try and get in touch with you and set something up. If you enjoyed the video, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Take care everybody.